What's going on, everybody? Hopefully, uh, you guys had a good weekend. I think today was Monday, as I'm still off. I'm still, I just got pretty much recovered from that drive to and from Pennsylvania. Do apologize. I know Joey even said I sat on tired Saturday night. I, I was whooped, guys. I really was. Um, but thank you for everybody that stopped by, participated in it, uh, bought stuff. Even if you didn't buy anything and you were just there to hang out in the chat, always makes it enjoyable. Uh, so I was sitting there today, and I had a couple people email me on some a video. And this was put out by Burbank Cards. Now, everybody should not pretty much know Burbank is like a huge, huge um, dealer. Huge. If you guys ever watched the Sasha T videos, you could see uh, Burbank in a lot of them. Very, very knowledgeable guys. Very good reputation. They have a gentleman named Rob who calls himself the Card Father. And basically, there is a new grading company out. You guys will hear about in the video, and then I'll talk about it afterwards. But he's calling them out. Calling them out. And I don't want to spoil it. Here, you guys go ahead and watch the video. I'll be back in a couple minutes. So we decided to crack. What are those things called? Uh, pure graded X. We decided to crack some pure graded X slabs. So let's let's see how we're gonna crack them. Okay, consider it cracked. Do do one more, Tom. That that was just way too easy. It shouldn't be. It should be a lot more difficult to crack a slab. Let's take. A, oh, dude, that's not the case here. Guys, please do not. And what kind of shape is that slab? And it must be cracked to hell. It must be cracked to hell. Nope. What do you mean? You mean you could actually put it back together with some glue? Easy. Oh, no. Guys, guys, guys. I'm in this category these days. My job is to educate people, call out bullshit, and praise good things. Guys, don't use grading companies that literally, you can crack it with your hands and reseal it with your hands. You're buying a holder. A good-looking holder, I might add. John and me are like, damn, these look kind of cool. At the end of the day, dude, it's just a fancy holder. And your cards are basically bought as raw. <sighs> God. It's such a wonderful hobby. It's such a wonderful business. I love this business. But when there's things out there that impact the business in a negative way and suck capital out of the category, and it's negative, Cardfather is going to call bullshit. So please, don't be in a rush to grade your cards. Just because PSA and Beckett are shut down, and they're the most reliable of grading companies, SGC is kind of there as well, but if you're not grading with companies that you can actually find comps on and that people pay premiums for as graded, then you're making a tremendous mistake, throwing your money down the drain. Then you come to the card father looking to sell. Hey, these are nines. Hey, these are tens. I'm like, hey, these are raw. And that's it. That's all we can pay for them because we're going to crack them. And guess what? We're selling them as raw. Oi, the things I got to deal with. John was, John just like, dude, one of them literally, I was showing him the box. And he's like, dude, you do know this one's already opened. It just fell apart. So please just don't, people, just don't. Cardfather out. All right, everybody. <clears throat> I had to stop the video actually because I had a phone call from a distributor. So let's get into it. You guys just seen the video. The guy calls, you know, bull cucka, I guess we could say for right now, or bull crap on some of the new uh, grading companies out there, which I completely agree with. Um, a lot of them are in it for a, fr a quick haul, in my own opinion, and it's all about the money, and as you can see, the product is horribly sealed. Horribly. They, they basically took it, and this said, too, I'm not going to do a PSA, but if you just wiggle it, it popped their seal. And then you can replace a card back in it. That's why a lot of these guys, I don't really trust with it, and when they, I have people come to my table all the time, with all these off-brand th uh, names, and they're like, well, this is graded at 9, 9 and a half, 10. I'm sorry, I'm only doing raw on it unless you can find a comp for that. Well, this is, uh, I'm using the PSA comp. No, you can't do that. You know, I know some people are against, uh, you know, using PSA back at SGC, but no matter who you use out there, 
if you're trying to get resale value, yes, you gotta go to top two, maybe even three. I mean, SGC doesn't their vintage has more of a resale than their newer stuff. But this here, wow. I mean, he hit the nail on the coffin with saying this stuff, and Burbank's been around for a long time, these guys. And for him to put something out like this, I mean, I don't know if he regularly does this or not now, but this is an eye-opener for a lot of people. And, you know, Pure Grade X, they split down the middle, and a group of guys left, started another company, which I don't want to name, but I'm hoping that they're not using the same exact stuff to where this happens with their stuff. Because if so, that's bad for the hobby. I got it you want to start your own company. I got it you want to make money and all this other stuff out there. But if security is not done properly, it's going to come back and hurt you. It always, always will. And, uh, I mean, this stuff did happen before with other companies out there earlier. I mean, you could think back in the day, people were popping PSA opening up more and stuff like that too. But they end up doing the right route, fixing the stuff up. But we still have issues with all the companies across the board. But as a new company, you should not have something like this done. Not at all. So, I, like I said, with Burbank doing this, I was really shocked they actually did this video. But seeing it done... At first, I was like, wow. And then he even says at the end, one of the cards that were shipped to him or something like that was already uh, coming apart. I mean, that makes me wonder what kind of weld they're using. If they're using a the weld, if they're using super glue or Elmer's glue, you know, stuff we used to eat in kindergarten because it tasted good and whatever. Um, I don't know. You guys let me know what you think in the comments on this. Uh, this was posted on people's Instagrams and stuff like that with the videos. I'm not too sure where it originated from because I got three different links to it. But let me know what you guys think about it because me, that was one of the reasons why when I first heard from them and they sent me that email, I was like, nah, I, I just, I had a bad feeling about it completely. Just, it just did not sit right with me. And now people that were talking good about it, you know, and stuff like that there. Yeah, you see a video like this, it starts making you second guess everything out there. It really does. And I'm wondering now if Burbank or Rob down there, he goes by the car, card father, I had to think about it, almost had a tongue twister there. If he's going to start, uh, when they start getting other ones in their shops that they're only paying raw for, regardless of whatever the grade is, if they're going to see... How secure those are so all the other companies out there they, they might want to take note to this because it's it would be a shame to you know get some negative publicity over something like this as a new company because then you got to overcome it um wow just crazy stuff anymore out there crazy stuff all right everybody you guys have a good rest of the week we got certified football coming in this week um I think that's the only new release I got besides some Pokemon stuff. So we'll, we'll get some other videos out this week. But I wanted to get this one pushed because I had enough emails about it. I figured it was I need to get put up and talked about, see what you guys think, all that stuff out there. All right, guys, have a good week. Catch you all next video.